I, Leak Code 1071, greatest common divisor of strings. For two strings, S and T, we say T divides S, if and only if S equals T plus whatever plus T, i.e. T is concatenated with itself one or more times. Given two strings, string one and string two, return the largest string X, such that X divides both string one and string two. So essentially, we're looking for something that'll divide both of these. In this case, for our first example, we've got ABC, which will divide into this twice. Easy, ABC divides into either one of these, no problem. So I'll put as ABC. In this case here, we've got AB, 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 and AB, AB. What, what divides into both of these is AB, you know, substring of, of string two or string one. Divides into this three times, divides into this two times. Therefore, we output AB. Um, but for leak code, for example, there's nothing that we can divide into this that will, you know, wholly divide into both of these. And therefore, we output nada. So if we go to our coding window, we are looking at doing this like this. So first, we've got to make sure that um, string one is not shorter than string two. And how do we do this? We use an if statement. So if string one dot length is not great, uh, sorry, is not as uh, less than string two dot length. Oops, I'm on messing it up today. <clears throat> then we return GCD of strings. Uh, string two and string one, right? Uh, else, so now our second case is if it doesn't satisfy that, then we, sorry. Then in our second if statement, we're gonna be checking if the shorter string is not a common prefix of the uh, longer string. So in this case, not string one starts with uh, string two. So this can essentially be um, read as string one does not start with string two, right? So in this case, if string one does not start with string two, then we know it don't work. It ain't, there's no, co there's no common divisor in this situation because String one don't start with string two. Simple as that. Don't they don't connect. Uh, so then we're gonna do another else if statement. In this one, I don't know why I keep doing this. Uh, I'll just keep it a bit uniform with this. Um, in this case, we are checking if string two is going to be empty, um, and if that's the case, then did I type it incorrectly? Yeah, string two uh sorry is empty then we know that um we've there's no grace common uh div divisor to be found because string two is empty anything can divide into the other one so therefore nothing can be found and we return string one and then our final else statement, which is, uh, we are going to return, oh wow, I messed that up, didn't I? Return GCD of strings, string one, substring of string two dot length, and <clears throat> string two and then that should compile so in this case then we find and cut off the common prefix of string one and therefore this is our last else statement this runs let me submit this so if I check the the full this is, you know, as fast as it can be. Decent memory, all good. Uh, 
please like subscribe